<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Okay, so today we are going to discuss poop. Yep, you heard me right, poop, so stay tuned. <laughs> has to have a place to go to the bathroom when they're off grid nobody actually wants to discuss this topic always but as a nurse you know nothing bothers me so I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up a portable outhouse because right now we are not able to build ours but we will in the future but I need a temporary solution for now so let's get started all right so right here is where cupcake wants to put the portable outhouse I'm gonna do some raking uh, maybe get the shovel make sure it's all flat uh, but before we get to that, we had a storm come through the other day and uh, knocked down a couple of trees. Uh, fortunately, it missed our micro cabin in the kitchen, uh, but we're going to have to get that cleaned out uh, here pretty quick. So cornbread has got the area all cleared for me. I got a six by eight tarp and I've folded it in half. Uh, I picked up this Wolf Wise uh, shower. It does not have a floor, but we're gonna get it set up next. Well, I'm gonna try to take this out of the uh, package without it popping out and hit me in the face. Let's see. Be very careful because these are spring like, I don't know what they're actually called, but let's see if I take it off right. <laughs> Alright, now I want the door facing this way. Alright, so it just unfolds like this. They do have, you gotta pull it. Well, may take, there we go. Let <laughs> me say, it may take two to pull it, but I managed. I have it set up on the uh, tarp. Let's unzip it so I can see. Oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect. Okay, I'm gonna stake it down, make sure it doesn't blow away. Once it has some weight, on the tarp and this is staked down. It should be fairly safe from the wind, though we'll have to monitor it and see how well it handles it. You can see getting old is not pleasant whenever you're trying to get down, you can't keep your balance, especially if you're fat and old. All right, I'm putting some stakes down that came with it, with the uh, cover, just to help it whenever the wind's blowing. Just make sure they're in the ground as best as you can right here where we have it there's a lot of roots so i'm trying to find a little gap there we go nope there we go all right, so I want to show you a few other supplies that you're going to need, and we're going to leave uh, links in the description below so in case you want to get all this. But you're going to need two five-gallon buckets. You're going to need a toilet seat and a scoop, of course. You're gonna need some of these pine shavings and you can get these at Tractor Supply. Uh, you don't necessarily need this basket, but I wanted the basket so I could put my toilet paper and my wipes in there. And then I also got this uh, battery powered uh, motion sensor light that will be on the outside for when you come to the toilet. So I'm gonna show you how to set it all up. All right, so let's talk about poop for a minute. <laughs> All right, so the ideal of this is that you're gonna come and do your business, then you're gonna take a scoop of these shavings, you're gonna sprinkle it all over it, it's supposed to cut down on the smell, and then once this is about three-fourths of a way full, you'll take your toilet seat lid off so that you can use it for another one. You'll put a lid on this, nice and tight and then you'll store it somewhere for about four to six months and it's gonna compost in here. Okay, now a lot of people say that you can use this in your vegetable and fruit gardens and all that. In my mind, I can't. So I will be using this in flower beds and things of that nature, but not foods that I eat. That's just me in particular, so. 
and see you can just come sit and do your business now i'm going to reiterate this a little bit more that if you want to use this compost for your vegetable fruit gardens I just I just can't do it in my mind I will use it for like I said for other gardens cornbread is going to look up some information on it and he'll leave uh, a link in the description below in case you want to use it in your fruit and vegetable gardens <laughs> all right well that's gonna wrap up this video if you like it please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do so any comments if you'll leave them below I'll get back to you as soon as possible and until next time thanks for watching I go in there.